Media Offline, Premiere Pro stressing you out. In this video, I'm going to show you the easy fix to this problem. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. When I first started using Premiere Pro, this was really frustrating for me and I couldn't really figure out why. And I know that for a lot of other new users in Premiere Pro, it's really, really frustrating. So I'm going to show you why this happens how to prevent it from happening, and if it does happen, how do you can fix it. So I'm gonna first just go ahead and clear everything out. Just like any project that I begin with, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna locate my video folder for my video, and I'm gonna drag my clips into Premiere Pro. And then once they've been imported into Premiere Pro for the second tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them onto the timeline. I would normally cut, I would trim these and make these look the way that I want them to but we're gonna speed it up so that you can see how to fix this issue. A lot of times when you start working on a project, you start to get a little bit unorganized. And when you start to become unorganized is when you start to see this problem. For example, if I go into my original video folder and I decide that I wanna change this folder name to, let's say clips, what will happen is this. When this comes up, it can be really, really confusing, but don't freak out because it's really, really easy to fix. I don't want you to go back and change the folder name back to whatever it originally was. I want you to just leave it how it was. The reason this happened is because Premiere Pro tracks a file path to that clip or whatever file that you import it to. Once you change the name of that file or you change the location of where that file is located, Premiere Pro is no longer able to find it because it doesn't know where it's located. So what we have to do is we have to tell Premiere Pro where the file is located. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to one of these clips and I'm just going to click on any one of them and then I'm going to select locate. So I've selected the 05 file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find the folder that I just changed the name. I'm going to ensure that I click on the correct clip. So we got the 05 clip, which is located right here. I'm going to click on it and then I'm just going to press OK. And what that's going to do is that as long as all these files are located within that folder that you just changed the name of, it will actually find every single one of those files and change the file path. You just need to be mindful of where your file is located and what the names of those folders are that contain your files. Any project that I start working on, I create an entire folder specifically for that project so I don't have to run into this issue and it saves me so much time in the long run. If you move one of your files over to a different folder, all you have to do when it says media offline is locate that folder and then select the video inside of that folder and it will create a new file path. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.